The Kenyans opted to visit nightclubs and other entertainment spots to usher in the new year. Our reporter Eli Lusige did a spot check of a few areas where action was in plenty. Take a look. gives us a lot of hope for the coming year after a very very tough year and we believe that uh, we can only look forward for better times to come not only as carnival but also as a country the year 2022 started off as a lower note coming from covid we went into the elections the campaigning period business went down but after that we've seen uh, a good recovery business coming back and uh, we ended up with a, on a high note with a lot of head of year parties from different companies. Our Prime Cabinet Secretary Musaliam Davadi is asking Kenyans to stop the blame games and focus on playing their part to make Kenya a better country. In his New Year message, Davadi asked Kenyans not to lose hope because of challenges but to work together to turn around the economy. During this season, we must promise each other to work for a better tomorrow. This tomorrow is 2023. In leading by example, the new year 2023 will find me abroad working to keep Kenya's international investment ties alive. I will be representing the country on behalf of His Excellency President William Ruto in Brazil's inauguration of a newly elected President Lula. Meanwhile, we ought to make a wish for 2023 to buttress hope. This wish should be that we must put behind us the habit of blame games and throwing tantrums at each other. Indeed, I thank Kenyans for the display of maturity during and after the elections this year. Let's keep the prevailing peace although we really have no choice but to keep the peace. This is our country and it is our business to make it better for ourselves and the generations to come. God bless you. God bless Kenya. All right, and on that note, we take a short break. We'll be back with more news on the other side. <laughs> 